Hey, y'all, it's Brian Krogsgaard from Post Status, and today I want to talk about Gutenberg and the future of page building. And what I see is uh, kind of the way maybe we should think about this, both as professionals and how we should steer site owners who are trying to make decisions around how best to uh, build and manage their websites. Before we get to that, I want to say thanks to our sponsor, uh, who is Northstack. Uh, I'm wearing my Northstack hat today. Northstack is a great product. You go to northstack.com to check it out because this is uh, pay-as-you-go hosting, but it's also something that's super flexible. So it's got uh, a serverless in infrastructure, and you're only paying for the resources you use. You're not paying for page views. You're not paying for some of these arbitrary things that other hosting companies may want you to pay for or bump you up because you you know they say you got 26,000 page views instead of the ceiling of 25,000 with Northstack you pay for the resources that you use not for the page views that you get and you can not only use vanilla WordPress uh, with this. You can also do headless WordPress with Northstack, and you can run Laravel applications with Northstack. It's a great uh, company. It's made by the fine folks at Pagely, who I've had a relationship with forever now, and we're proud to have Northstack as a post status partner. Now, let's talk about um, blocks and page building. You see, Gutenberg is such a huge part of the overall development uh, process with WordPress now that it, you just can't ignore it. And every page building company, I promise you, is thinking about how are they going to uh, respond to the evolution that they're seeing from Gutenberg. And that is that Gutenberg is going from just a uh, in post thing to an all over the website thing and uh, more and more you know you can you'll be able to start managing your uh, previously widget areas your uh, your menus and all this stuff with Gutenberg and dragging dropping that stuff around and having these advanced interfaces now it's not everything that you get out of uh, a page builder necessarily, and they can work together, and that's what all of the page builders out there are trying to identify is how can they continue to play a role in the WordPress ecosystem uh, knowing that Gutenberg exists. And we're seeing new companies and new products form uh, and find success because they are leveraging Gutenberg for what they do. Uh, for instance, what we saw with Coblox, which was acquired by GoDaddy, uh, and now we're actually seeing some other participants see the value of these tools that extend Gutenberg and acquire them and bring on the teams that uh, made those products. Uh, WP Engine just acquired one as well, uh, Block Lab. And Block Lab is cool because it's got a lot of the type of functionality that you might have thought of previously with something like Advanced Custom Fields, where you go in and in the admin you're defining what might be in your custom block. But then you get the structured data in that modular block, but you can put that block anywhere. It's not like you have to say it goes exactly in this place that you hard code into your template. Um, and that's going to be really important as we uh, move forward with Gutenberg being a primary WordPress experience that's part of every site. It's not really going to be the type of thing that you just turn off on some site because it'll be a significant part of the overall experience. It'll be the dominating experience on any website. And as a site owner, you have to consider, do I want to install a page builder where I may get locked into that page builder and it would be difficult to switch off of that page builder, it would be difficult to do a redesign, or do I want to say... Uh, use and leverage Gutenberg where I might not have quite as much power like right out of the box to go and edit every little thing, every little bit uh, of my website. But you know what? If I switch themes, if I do a redesign, um, I can cater to the styling of these Gutenberg blocks and I lose nothing. So your long-term website management is actually probably going to be improved in that scenario because Gutenberg is a core part of WordPress and you'll just continue to evolve with that and bring all those Gutenberg-built 
pages and posts along with you. So it's really something important to think about. I still think there's a lot of room for entrepreneurship and companies to participate in the Gutenberg ecosystem and be a part of that and succeed. I just don't know if it'll look like what we've seen with these page builders that really have their own experience and their own uh, you know, overall feeling that is not very WordPressy. It's very uh, into like what they are and what they define. And I think that's what is going to come to a head with Gutenberg as Gutenberg evolves. Or these will fight to continue to stay ahead and be able to do things that Gutenberg could not. And those companies that go down that path, they'll get further and further away from the core WordPress experience. And maybe at some point, they just won't need WordPress as much. Or they'll use WordPress as some kind of foundation you know, for all the underlying functionality of WordPress. But the presentation layer and the editing layer will be their own. And that itself would be an interesting evolution for uh seeing WordPress used in very different ways, competing ways, where one person chooses the Gutenberg way and one person chooses, say, the Divi way. Where, uh, and I'm just using Divi as an example, but you know, they go and they do it uh, in the way that they envision uh, web publishing should look like. And I think that could be really healthy for the ecosystem. So I just wanted to talk today a little bit about what was on my mind. I don't know if that was super coherent, but I hope it helped you uh, consider your own thoughts because I know a lot of you are probably thinking about how am I implementing these things in my client work or on my own website? How am I considering the way they work together between page builder uh, and, and Gutenberg and other things? And I hope this helps and let me know if you like it. And uh, yeah, I'll see you soon. Have a good one.